Having a difficult childhood and moving to Seoul alone to pursue a career in the entertainment industry, Han so he has worked hard to become a sought-after actress. Here is the story of Han so he. So he was born as Lee so he on November 18, 1994, in Ulsan, South Korea. Han so hes parents divorced when she was five years old. As a result, she moved in with her grandmother. Seeing her grandmother having to care for her despite old age, Han so he made a pledge to herself that she would make a lot of money. Her grandmother also became her greatest inspiration. She explained that she's always received parental love from her grandma and that thinking about her existence helps her calm and gain composure. So he would also upload photos of her grandma on Instagram with the caption My Everything which shows just how much she cherishes her. Han so he majored in the arts, decided to switch careers and pursue acting at a young age. When she moved to Seoul at the tender age of 20, she only had around 243 US dollars in her pocket. In 2018, she commented on a personal blog post, still can't imagine how I came to Seoul, only bringing 243 US dollars at the age of 19. It already feels like things happened 10 years ago. She found a job in a bar and worked every day until the sun rose, struggling to make ends meet. She lived like this for over a year. However, despite her difficulties, she did not regret them, saying that those days made her who she is right now. She slowly began making a name for herself in SNS, gaining more and more followers as the months passed by. In 2016, she was cast in Shiny's music video for Tell Me What To Do. She also appeared in Young Young Was That Girl MV, Roy Kim's The Hardest Part MV, and Melamance UNU MV. Her modeling career took off, with her extensive portfolio including contact lenses, cosmetics, mobile games, and Ritz crackers. Eventually, her hard work paid off and she began landing bigger roles on TV. She has starred in dramas Money Flower, Abyss, and 100 Days My Prince. In 2020, she got her big break when she played the role of Yeo De Kyung, the mistress of Lee Tae Oh in the drama The World of the Married. The drama series broke records in South Korea with the highest viewer ratings. She received flack because of her role. The viewers were so engaged in the drama that they lashed out at the actress and flooded her Instagram with tons of hate comments. On the brighter side, so he received endorsement deals from international brands L'Oreal Paris, Goodall Paris, and Lanvin. Even big companies in South Korea, such as Barrel, set their sights on her. She was also nominated as Best Actress in the Bexing Arts Awards. With her rising popularity from the world of Married, fans began to dig for old photos and found ones where she had tattoos on her arms. Since then, it's long been speculated that she had those tattoos removed when she pursued her acting career. She was criticized for the circulated photos, especially the one that included a cigarette. In an interview after the popular series ended, she stood firm and said, that image of me back then was me, and I am still me. My worldview isn't that different now, compared to myself then. When you start working, doesn't every experience some kind of restriction from their daily lives? Now that I think about it, those moments completed who I am today. It's even funny to call it my past. Those photos were from merely three or four years ago. I'm fine. I think some of my fans who are women even loved those sides of me. I am very grateful. When addressing her tattoos, Han so he mentioned that one of them is a lily flower, which represents her grandma. She chose to tattoo this flower with the intention of forever being at her grandma's side. The actress can still be seen flaunting body art. Recently, she posted a photo of her with tattoos around her arms and chest on Instagram. During Paris Fashion Week 2022, she uploaded a picture that shows a slightly exposed hip tattoo and an eyebrow piercing. Han's first leading role after her star-making turn allowed her to revisit the other passion in her life. In Nevertheless, a romantic drama in which she shares the screen with Song Kang, Han played Yunabai, a university student majoring in art. 
in the series, so he was allegedly the only main cast member who was not required to take art classes before shooting. Some of her works were even featured in the show. Later that year, Han gained kilos of muscles to tackle her first action role in the revenge drama My Name for Netflix. The show, in which she plays a young woman who joins a gang and later infiltrates the police to avenge her father's death. She revealed that she underwent extensive physical training a month earlier than other cast members. The series also made her feel that sincerity would always pay off. In an interview with the Korea Herald, so he said that she had to start from zero because she had never done any exercise before filming the series. In March 2022, Han appeared in the four-episode Disney Plus miniseries Soundtrack 1, alongside Park Hyung sik the same year, she appeared as Princess Kaina in a live-action teaser for the Kakao webtoon series, The Villainess is a Marionette. The following year, she played the love interest of BTS Jungkook in the music video for his single Seven, which was released on July 14, 2023. Han will make a return to our screen soon in the highly anticipated Netflix series Jiang Seong Creature, a thriller set during the Japanese colonial occupation of Korea from 1910 to 1945. Now she is doing great. However, in 2020 nobody expected that Han So-hee would have to suffer again. Han So-hee became the hot topic of that week when she became involved in a controversy over her mother's debt. The whole incident started on July 18, 2020 when an anonymous person posted on an online community that Han So-hee's mother had run off with her guy money. Guy is a form of traditional private loan fund that is popular among Koreans, members who are part of this private loan fund pitch in a set amount of money every month, then, the members take turns to take out a lump sum of the private fund each month or at a designated time. The person who wrote the post claimed starting from October 2015 to August 2016, I formed a guy with a person claiming to be the mother of a celebrity. I paid around 2037 US dollars and 33 cents every month. I tried to conserve money so I couldn't even eat properly. The celebrity's mother ghosted when it was my turn to receive the lump sum in September 2016. I told her I was going to report her to the police and she replied. The anonymous poster then claimed that Han Sohee's mother has been paying back the sum of around 16,630 US dollars and 70 cents for the past four years. She claimed that Han Sohee's mother has been paying back only around 83 to 250 US dollars every few months and still has about around 8,000 US dollars to pay back. She stated that Han Sohee's mother said that if her daughter makes it big that she would be able to give me back my money right away so we even went to her daughter's agency in Seoul. I had a dream that I wanted to accomplish when I received that money but now it's all ruined. I now don't care about money. I just want that person to be punished. After this incident, Han Sohee posted an apology on her personal blog under her real name Lee Sohee. Han so he apologized saying I know that that person is in a situation that won't be alleviated no matter what I say. I want to make a sincere apology to everyone who felt discomfort or were hurt by the recent incident. My parents divorced when I was about five and I grew up with my grandmother. I moved to Wulsan where my mother was when I went to high school but I lived with my grandmother. I turned to this profession after I graduated. I didn't interact with my mother much so I was able to hear about her debt only after I turned 20. I tried to repay my mother's debt to my best ability because she was the daughter of my grandmother and also because of the filial piety. I tried to repay the debt even before my debut. However, I found out through loaners that my mother kept borrowing money using my name as a shield but did not pay the money back. Currently, there are promissory notes signed under my name and loans under my name that I was not aware of and the debt has grown out of my control. I feel very apologetic for thinking the only solution was to pay back the money in my mother's place. I feel this was caused by my poor judgment and caused more people to be in pain. I am very sorry. I want to bow my head to apologize to all the people hurt and all the victims of the recent incident. 
Many netizens feel bad that Han so he was involved in such a situation and feels that she's a good daughter who wants to pay back her mother's debt just because of filial piety, while other netizens are angered by her mother who has used her daughter's name to her advantage. Netizens have commented that Han so he's mother doesn't deserve to be called a mother. Not all parents are parents because they claim to be parents. This reminds me of singer Jang Yoon Young. I think the mother-daughter relationship has ended just like them. I didn't really like Han so he before, but now I realize that she had persevered through such hard times. I'm going to support her from now on as her fan. I wish this gets resolved well. This is so sad. She wasn't able to properly receive her parents' love ever since she was young. And she has to also pay back her mother's debt. I wish you can be successful and become happy. Ms. Han So He, this isn't your fault. You don't need to repay that either. It's good to see you being honest. I hope you can get better from now on. Parents who didn't even raise their kids but leeches off them is the worst. With this, Han So He will be freed from this pit. Her mother now can be thrown in jail. She won't need to pay back her mother's debt just because she's the biological mother. The whole nation knows about this. I can't believe she was paying back the debt even before her debut. After her real name was mentioned by a YouTuber, an interview with her mother was also released. In the interview with YouTuber Lee Jean Ho, her mother said she would work hard to pay off the debts on her own. There have been many cases in which parents of famous celebrities borrowed large amounts of money using their children's names and reputations but didn't pay them back. At first, Han So He did try to fulfill her daughter's duty but eventually decided to show a firm attitude by denying all responsibility related to her mother's debt to stop the fraud from being continued. This is a wound that Han So He does not want to reveal, but she can prevent more victims from suffering by announcing her position. The actress's strong determination should be applauded. Thank you for watching and see you next time.